After handing Washington a double-digit loss on Tuesday, the Cougars spent the rest of the week practicing and looking ahead to their next opponent, Mercer University. I'm really impressed um, watching them on film, and obviously the game against Tennessee, they were um, really good. The NIT is a great tournament still, and there's lots of very good teams. The long break wants you, you, you are eager to play basketball, you're eager to play a game against somebody else, not just your own team. Mercer is 24-11 and in Bob Hoffman's fifth season as head coach. It's his 22nd year in the college ranks, and a win on Saturday would give him the big 5 double O. To get Hoffman to 500 wins, the Bears will need to play stingy defense and careful offense. And they run their offense really hard. Um, most of the points they score is out of their offense, which is kind of not normal for college teams. They, they, they've got a very good system and, and just kind of take what the defense gives them. Defensively, they're really tough. It's a team that uh, doesn't let you get to the basket much. The Cougars' usual practice schedule is a little thrown off because of the Monday game, but Rose and sophomore sensation Tyler Hawes aren't too concerned, and they shouldn't be. The team is 2-0 and when playing on Mondays under Rose. We'll just kind of push it back a little bit. We'll practice Saturday night and do our normal Sunday routine, I mean, our normal, normal day before a game uh, a little bit later, and, uh, and then do our shoot-around on Monday normal time and go from there. We've had a, a good week of practice, and uh, we're going to practice tomorrow night. Uh, instead of, you know, in the middle of the day. And so, you know, I think a, a good day of rest Sunday will definitely help us. The Georgia-based Bears have even developed a reputation for winning in the postseason all the way out here in Utah. Last year, they won a postseason tournament in Logan and already knocked Tennessee out of this year's NIT. They went right at Tennessee, weren't, weren't scared at all. They've won six straight postseason games going back to last year. They know how to win, and, um, but we, we have a good history too, and so it'll be a good battle. After practice on Friday, Coach Rose and his players had nothing but respect for Mercer. They said that they were able to go on the road, beat Florida State, as well as win a conference championship. So there's no need to take Monday off. BYU is prepared and hopes to earn a way back to New York City. Skylar Hardman, BYU TV Sports.